So here we've dismounted the outdoor fan assembly by taking the screws out of the grill and just flipped it upside down on the top cover so we can access the fan. You can see the fan is held in place with one set screw. Uh, it's an eighth inch uh, hex, hex set screw. And to facilitate taking it out, you can see there's actually a groove cut in the, you know, in the hub of the, uh, the fan if you need to get in the long way with the wrench. Otherwise, you can also get it in you know, the, the standard way here. You just loosen the set screw up. Then we can simply slide the fan off the end of the shaft. Just sticky because of the grease. And you'll notice on the back side of the fan, uh, the plastic forms a D-shape uh, in the metallic hub insert here. And that D-shape now is what aligns with the, the D-cut on the motor uh, for the, the factory motor to define the position, the axial position of the fan on the motor shaft. So you can see the, the D-shaft ends on this kind of taper surface and this line uh, at the edge of the taper uh, where the, the D-flat starts to transition back to round, that point is where the, the you know, flat on the, the fan hub will actually set to define the depth of the, the fan. So when you put the fan back on, you know, the D is going to ride down the flat portion of the shaft and then bottom out on that, that ridge there. And that sets it in the correct axial position in the orifice. So then if we want to reinstall the fan, uh, again in this case, you know, we want the, the rib structure of the fan to point actually towards the motor, so that's in the correct orientation. You take the, uh, the black uh, plastic portion, the D portion of the hub, and you'll want to align it with the D portion of the shaft. And that defines the, the rotation. And that also makes sure that the set screw is properly aligned with the D. And if you simply push that down, until the rotor bottoms out, push on it firmly so it won't go any further. And then, uh, like I said, the, the plastic feature in the, in the hub automatically locates the set screw onto the D so that you don't have to worry about that. And then you can torque the, the set screw down.